you owe money to, if I start over tomorrow with zero cash, this is the first thing I would do and I could literally get 20 clients in an afternoon, right? You, your master network list, you start with all the people you know on very good first name basis, everyone. So you go through your phone book. I uh, call it 250 list, is that? Yeah, yeah, kind of a similar thing. I think, I think it's that, yeah. Where it's like, okay, okay, mum, dad, sister, brother, Uncle Dave, like whatever, right? And so you have all these people, and basically, this is your first tier list. People you know firsthand, totally warm. You could call up to ask for a favor without looking weird. And you, every person, you put the list of names, and then you have three columns. Every person can be a potential client, or a potential collaborator, or a potential connector. There could be a mix as well. But the, every person will be one of those three things. And they all have value. So I then start picking up the phone and call number one, mum. All right, like, my mum, okay, hey mum, how's it going? Now she's not gonna, probably not gonna be a potential client, right? So I'm like, hey mum, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing like a, a 14 day kind of fat loss program. I'm looking for 10 people. Do you wanna do it? Uh, no, I don't wanna do it, okay, cool. Well, um, you're not gonna be a client, okay. Could she be a collaborator? Uh, probably not, unless she has some kind of related business but more likely a connector. So, okay, mom, that's cool, you don't wanna do it. Um, could you connect me though to maybe one or two of your friends um, and let them know that I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them up on your behalf and see if they're interested. Oh yeah, speak to Debbie, speak to Frankie. Cool. Then you write those names in your tier two list, which is like your first degree connection. Okay, and then once you've been through all the level, the tier one people, you'll go into tier two. So. I'll pick up the phone to my next tier one person, like Uncle Frank. Hey, Uncle Frank, how's it going? Do you want to do this 14-day fat loss program? Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah, put me down for that. That was awesome. Great, awesome. Well, hey, Frank, you know what? You, you run a supplement company, don't you? Yeah, yeah, all right. So do you think maybe we could do some partnership and we could collaborate somehow? And maybe you can bring like supplements down and we can sell them at the thing and we get a small cut on whatever we sell? You know, or maybe he's a print shop or maybe he sells whatever, right? And then maybe, Franklin, could you connect me to anyone else that you think could, could be a good client, connector, or collaborator? Oh yeah, talk to, you know, John, who does blah, 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 right? So you can see, just by going through your like, tier one list, you should have like, you know, I mean, you should know 10 people by first name basis, I'd imagine, right? You're probably gonna have more like, you're gonna have close to 250, that's where the 250 comes from. You, we know on average 250 people on first name basis. So you should have around about 200 names in the first column alone. So you just get, you know, get a good phone contract and then just go through it one day. And um, you'll just have a, a string of names. You can go through your ex-clients as well, you know them by name. Ex-clients, hey, we've got this reactivation program, it's 14 days, you wanna see if maybe you're interested in jumping back on board. No obligation, just 14 days accountability to give you a kickstart. Cool, yeah, sounds good, you know. Uh, and then once you've been through level one, you then go into tier two. Hey, uh, Debbie, uh, this is Justin. My mum, Eleanor, is like your friend. Oh, hey, yeah, cool, how's it going, Justin? Yeah, cool, so my mum said that you might be interested in this new program I'm doing, she told me to reach out to you. Have you got two minutes? Yeah, cool, I'm doing a 14 day blah, blah, blah. Are you interested? Yes, or no, or whatever. No, it's, I don't think it's for me, but thanks anyway. No problem, oh hey, Debbie, like don't you run, uh, you know, um, uh, a cafe down the road. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I'm always looking for new places to take my clients out on a Sunday uh, social morning that we do once a month. It would be really cool. Would it be okay if I bring like 20 or 30 women down to your cafe on Sunday and maybe you just give us a small discount on the drinks? And she's like, yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> We're like, great. Awesome. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for hosting us. Hey, by the way, do you know anyone that would be a good connection for me that maybe would be interested in doing this? I'm telling you guys, like, you know, if you know this exercise now, you have no excuse to ever complain about not having enough money ever again. If you just get the balls to pick up the phone and just do this for like a day, uh, like it'll, it'll change your life around pretty much, right? That's what I would do. If I needed like money tomorrow and I started from nothing, that's exactly what I would do. You know, 10 pound phone credit and I'd be on my way. I'd, make, I'd bank a thousand pounds by the end of the day. So that's like your personal network. And then of course there's your network of other businesses. So think of all the, the complementary businesses that your target audience is going to in your area. 
So if we're talking about general women, mums, for example, which will be most of you, you've got list all the daycare nurseries, the hair salons, nail salons, tanning salons, handbag shops, perfume shops, clothing shops, cafes, high-end restaurants, karate clubs, dance clubs for, for the mums, um, schools, private schools, nurseries, flower shops, gift shops, perfume shops, jewelry shops, chiropractors, nutritionists, dentists, hockey teams, uh, female rugby teams, female football teams, the male football teams, because the male football teams they all have wives and girlfriends, right? You can go to, a, if you even serve women, you can go do a session for a men's rugby club or something and say, hey, just, we'll do it for free for you guys, just tell your wives and girlfriends or sisters and mothers or whatever that we have a, a boot camp for women, right? There's like literally psh, lists of people you could be contacting, health shops, supplement shops, Whole food shops, yoga instructors, Pilates instructors, dance instructors, Zumba instructors. You ever thought of going to like uh, a yoga, Zumba, or even other, tra other trainers maybe? Here's something I did back in the day, like I'd go to um, other trainers who if I saw they had like a bit of a lead capture like or a contact form on their website and they, they, contact, they collected emails and phone numbers. I would go to them and be like, hey, um, how many like emails and phone numbers have you got of unconverted prospects on your list? And they'd be like, I don't know, two, three hundred. And I'd say, I'll give, you, I'll give you like one pound for every name on every contact on your list. So I'll give you 300 pounds for your list right now. They just get a list of 300 local phone numbers of people that have reached out about health and fitness. And they're like, 300 pounds? I'm like, yeah. I don't, even want, I don't want access, I don't want ownership of the list, I just want to borrow the, the numbers, I'll, you, you still keep the list, but I'll just, I just want the data and import it into a CSV file. They're like any, they'll do, I mean, they'll do anything, they'll, they'll do anything for 300 quid, right? You do that, right, boom, I got 300 phone numbers today. Call them all up, hey, or text first, like, hey, this is Justin from so-and-so fitness, um, I was passed this number by so-and-so, who said you were interested in health and fitness, um, you might be interested in this offer we got going on. And you know, maybe only like five people actually get back to you out of 300, but that's five people, right? If two of them sign up, you just made an extra 200 pounds a month on a 300 pounds investment. It's really like learning to work smart here, guys. And this is, you know, this is stuff that um, when you're bootstrapping, when profits aren't there, you've got to learn to be resourceful with this stuff. You know, it's not forever. Like when you get to a point where you're profitable again, and you've got good money going to advertising, it's coming back, and you're doing that, then you don't have to, you're not gonna be like, like Del Boy every single day forever doing this stuff. But again, if you're in this position, it's a business diet, it's not ideal, it's not nice to get on the phone every day, but if you've worked yourself into this position, and you've got to work yourself back out of it, this is the medicine, right? You have to contact every ex-client, uh, you know, former clients. You know, who's got an ex-client list? of 10 people, who's got more than 10 that they could call up right now? More than 20, more than 30, your hands up, your... more than 40, more than 50, more than 70, more than 80, more than 100, more than 200, 150? Don't know about that. I've got, I've, I've, got, I've got anybody who's ever stepped foot through the door. Okay. I've got my own spreadsheet. So, and, and cool. A list. 100 people at least, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, so tomorrow, there you go. Call everyone up. Send them all a text. Send a text on them. Hey, how's it going? Just want to check. You know, it's been a long time since we spoke. How are your goals going? Do you still need some help to lose weight or get in shape? Reach out to us. Blast out 100, maybe you get 10 responses. Maybe one comes back and it becomes a client. This is the shit like we've just got to do on a business diet, right? You're just going to, you, because you've paid for all these assets, you've paid for that list of names and numbers. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing, you've paid all this money or you are paying for it, but you're not yet making profit back on these investments. That's why your costs are too high and your profits are too low. Um, so you want to stabilize, get that back to balance. Uh, and then you know, okay, and it'll be a good, good exercise. And once you've done it once, you then get your team to carry on doing it after that and do a dial for dollars at least once a month. So at least once a month, take your unconverted prospect list and get one of your guys on the phone 
one day a month, have somebody, whoever's best at sales, get them on the phone, call up every single person with a, a special monthly reactivation offer, which is just for prospects on our list. The public won't know about it. We're, gonna, we're just doing a seven day kickstart for, for 15 pounds this week. We're doing a 21 day blah, blah, blah. We're doing a free consult. We're doing a kettlebell workshop. You know, if you put that workshop idea on, you know, same thing, you put the, get the yoga workshop going, text out, hey guys, we're gonna, uh, we know you're not a customer, but we've talk, spoke to you before, we've got a, workshop, a yoga workshop on Sunday, do you wanna come along, it's just 10 pounds. Boom, well, you'll get three sales out of that. Then they're back in the gym, right? The 10 pounds isn't important, that person now comes back into your gym for two hours. Then it's like, hey, you know, I remember you from before, you came in for a trial, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. How's it all going? Cool. Well, thanks for coming to the yoga today. Hey, how about we give you a free week pass to get you back in the gym and get you fit again? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. All right, cool. We'll say it from Monday. Cool. All right, see you there. Enjoy the yoga. We'll see you on Monday. Now they're in a one-week trial. You, you, you see where it goes, right? It's basics. Like, you know all this stuff, right? But you've forgotten that you know it because we want to rely on just pounding more Facebook ads which at the moment is a problem because you're spending out more money than what you're actually making back off all that expenditure. If you have a list of 500, 1,000, 2,000 leads that you paid with Facebook ads or any paid ads already, uh, and you haven't converted at least 40% of them into clients, start there. When you know that over time you'll be able to convert 40% of the leads you acquire into sales, then you can go crazy on Facebook ads. But there's no point slamming out a thousand pounds a month on advertising to get a thousand leads and you only convert 20 of them. Right? Another thing you should do as well when it comes to your audience monetization is a 90 day follow up system. So what, there's too much focus still on like if I pay for ads on a Monday and a person books a call on Tuesday, you know, if you get like 10 opt-ins on a Monday and then four people book on a call that week, a lot of you guys are still focusing on only those four people. What about the other six who didn't book a call? You're like, oh, they're in my email list of doom and death and they're forgotten about now, like they're just gone forever, right? The fact is, most prospects that you sign up, that opt in, will become clients within 60 to 90 days, not seven days. So yes, we wanna convert people who are hot immediately, but that isn't the real sales mechanism. The ones who sign up right now are great just to liquidate our costs of that ad spend, but it's like asking someone to marry you on the first date. Most of them are just gonna say no. So people, you know, if you get like a 30, 40% close rate on the phone straight away, that's good. But if you don't, but there's no point trying to make it 80% close rate because you're just you're fighting an uphill battle against social conditioning. Most people will just not say no, will not say yes the first time. Don't worry about trying to make that first phone call. What you're doing is you're on a first date, you're asking someone to marry you, most people rightfully say no, and then you're asking me like, was it the way I proposed? Was, it, was, it, was I on the wrong knee? Was the diamond ring not right enough? And the pro I'm like, no, the problem was you asked them to marry you on the first date. Just be cool, date them some more, and after about 60 to 90 days, ask again, and they'll say yes. It's, it's a timing issue, not a skill issue most of the time. So again, if you're closing, you know, 20, 30% on the phone straight away in the first week, great. You're probably making back all your ad spend and liquidating, that's good. But don't try and like focus all your attention on getting a 30% close rate up to a 40% close rate because there comes a point of diminishing returns where it's just, you're, you're focusing on the wrong place. And all the leads that the 70% that are close to saying yes are now buried in your email list somewhere and you haven't contacted them. Whereas if you had a, a set system that follows them for 90 days after opting in, systematically giving them social proof, chances to engage with you, testimonials, invites, hey, do you wanna come along to our free taster session? Hey, do you wanna come along to our free seminar? Hey, do you wanna come to our yoga? Hey, do you wanna jump on a phone call and chat to us? Hey, do you wanna come to our coffee morning? with social proof, invites, you're really trying to build a relationship with this person and they can see that, and then monitor over a 90 day sequence like that, and then look at all the leads that opted in in January, and rather than looking at which ones opted in week one in January and bought in week two of January, look at how many opted in in week one of January, but of those people, 
became clients in week two, week three, week four, who became clients in February, who signed up in March of those initial batch of clients. So the way I look at it is the leads I pay for this month are my clients in three months from now. I'm not looking at the leads I pay for on Monday or my clients on Tuesday. That's not really how it works. Some will be, but it's not really how it works. So you wanna say, hey, here's a list of all the people that opted in, where are we now in, in June, right? So here's all the people that opted in on the, on the first week of May. Where are we in our relationship with those guys right now today? And we should be looking at signing most of those up by the end of July. Okay, and be looking at that list of a 90 day follow up. Not a, not a two day or a five day follow up, a 90 day follow up. And then you get the real stats on how your advertising is working. Because now, you know, if I, if I paid a thousand pounds for a hundred leads in January, but I only, but, I, but only out of those hundred, uh, only 10 signed up in January. But what if another 20 of them signed up in February and March? Then your January advertising spend is actually three times more profitable than you thought it was. And you might have canceled the advert by then because you thought it wasn't good enough. But actually, we you know the real macro numbers, you get a real sense of what's going on in your company. And you don't, you're not so hasty to, to shut things down so fast. Your, client, your prospects will have more value, they'll spend more money with you, the more you keep following up with them. But too many of you just don't follow up more than seven days. Some of you don't follow up after one phone call, you don't follow up. Some of you guys don't even follow up when they actually opt in because you haven't got time to answer the phone. Right? <laughs> Which means you need to get a salesperson on board pretty fast. Okay? So, that's your six core assets. That's the main thing I wanted to go through with you guys because I think if you really dial, at the advanced level, you dial those things in, based on this cash flow system which tells you what, you, what percentage you need to hit. Then you look at your six core assets, all your answers are contained in there somehow. And if you're actively doing those systems every month, these numbers are gonna shoot up no problem. Any questions on that guy?